Hi, so now we're on page 45. We're going to learn three new notes on the A string, and we're also going to learn about this concept called ledger lines. So ledger lines are used to notate notes that uh, lie above or below the range that the staff itself expresses. Remember, we only have five lines in four spaces, and we have a lot of notes on the guitar. So when we need to go below where, or above the notes that we can express on those five lines in four spaces, we use ledger lines. So it just extends the system going up and going down. Okay, typically you can see up to four ledger lines above or below. Okay, so it just it, everything keeps going the same way: A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or backwards coming down from G backwards. Okay, so if you look at the first one there, we've got two lines there. Okay, so that would be our open A string. So this is the A. Then if you look beneath the first ledger line, that's the note B. And then third finger, third fret is the note C. And you can see if you added that into the notes we've already learned, it would just continue up the scale of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc., which is going to be a technique exercise that we're going to learn on the next page. So nothing changes in the order. It's just that we have to temporarily extend the lines of the staff so that we can accommodate those notes that go higher and lower. Okay. So, um, as always, I want to just fill you in on the accidental notes that we find or the, you know, the, the notes that we find that aren't natural. They're not A, B, or C, but it would be A sharp on the first fret or B flat. And then the fourth fret, it would be C sharp or D flat. Okay, so if you look at the all four frets, it would be A, A sharp, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D flat. Okay, but for now, as far as reading, we're just going to be concerned with A, B, and C. Okay, so that's page 45.